Piece of shit deserves a downgrade, but how do you how do you fucking downgrade someone? How do you even downgrade? How do you do upgrades? What's the formula? If Messi were to get an upgrade. Alright, let's try this. That's it. Each player is represented by a number. Rudy's represented by two. And cross-dressing Yaya is represented by two. So that means that the upgrade is... So you wanna buy packs but you got no coins And you wanna pack bail but you hate FIFA points And you wanna beat your brother with a super fly team But your coin total zero so it's basically a dream You FIFA is the answer to your question Cheap and reliable, the best on the net kids CWB for 8% off nah, Stack them coins and load your squad up What's happening boys and welcome to the FIFA 16 prediction upgrade episode here So in this video we're gonna take a look at 6 players That I believe are gonna get upgrades in FIFA 16 And as always guys These are hotly debated topics Some people will agree, some people will disagree Some people say the stats need to go down, need to stay the same or go up for a variety of reasons, but I'm going to point out some reasons why I think uh, these particular players deserve an upgrade. And like I say in the downgrade video, it's some combination of a performance index and then age. You know, unfortunately, like I said, Luca Toni scored 30, uh, I think he's, no, no, he's 38 years old and he scored the most goals in the Serie A. I'm not sure how many he scored, but uh, he's 38 years old and EA are probably not going to upgrade him because he's 38 years old. In fact, he might actually get a downgrade. I don't know how you downgrade the tops the top scorer in a league, but it's possible they downgrade him just because of age. We've seen it with Ibra. All right. Messi. If you guys enjoyed the video, let's aim for maybe 50 likes as well. If you want to interact with me on Twitter and Instagram, those links can be found in the description below. But without any further ado, let's crack on with the first... Let's crack on with the first prediction. So we're going to kick things off with the Premier League and the Belgian phenom known as Eden Hazard. He just turned 24 this year. January 7th, he turned 24. Uh, so he is one of the youngest, best players in Europe, without a doubt. He played roughly 600 minutes more than he did the previous season. And it is my belief that if you get more playing time, that's something that EA notes in their index for rating. And they factor that somewhat into the equation. Now, he did score the same amount of goals than he did the season before, which is 14. He said 14 goals back-to-back -back seasons though he has nine assists compared to seven the year before and his passing accuracy is now 84 percent whereas before it was 81 percent he also had six man of the matches to go along with a freaking premier league championship that might be the thing that tips him over the scale that might be what gets him to that 89 rating is what i think he is going to get it can be argued that eden hazard is the most important player in the premier league for his club Nemanja Matic is an absolute god. A lot of people think that he's the most important player for Chelsea, but there's a lot of really good players for Chelsea. Cesc Fabregas, none of it happens without him. Same with Diego Costa. But Eden Hazard, the quality of him is just really, really unrivaled in the Premier League, in my opinion. Eden Hazard is also a prime candidate for a five-star skill move upgrade. Hopefully you guys agree with me on that. I'm pretty sure some of you will. But some of the stuff that he does in-game is just in... in the actual, I'm not talking about in FIFA, but the skill moves that he performs in real life are just absolutely freaking mind-boggling. Definitely deserves five-star skill moves in my opinion. Maybe let me know in the comment section below whether you agree or disagree with that. So let's go down south to the Syria where we meet a young Domenico Berardi who plays for Sassuolo. I believe he is on a co-ownership deal with Sassuolo and Juventus. He is only 20 years old and he's done something that even Messi hasn't done. Now I'm not saying this is a reason to get an upgrade, but he's 20 years old and it took him 59 games to get to 30 goals where it took Messi 70 games to get to 30 goals. I know a lot of people are going to be like, Zway, just shut up. No, I'm just pointing that out. That's just a fact. He's the quickest player to get 30 goals in uh, in that period of time. He's only 20 years old. So this previous season, he had 15 goals and 10 assists, whereas the season before, he had 16 goals and 6 assists. So yes, his total goals went down by 1, but the overall impact that he had with his club went up by a lot. So 15 goals, 10 assists, that's, an, that's a heck of a contribution, especially for a player that's only... I was about to say 10 years old. That's only 20 years old. So a little side note, he's also the youngest player. At 18 years old, he scored four goals, I believe, against Milan. No, no, he scored hat tricks in back-to-back -back years against Milan. And then he's the first player in Serie A history to score four goals. I forget who it was against. 
Shit, I forget who it was against. I think Sassuolo bought his rights from Juventus outright, but Juventus had the option to bring him back in 2016. So we will see if that happens. But I think this is a young, uh, a young star who is a 74 overall player right now, and I think he probably deserves going up to 76 gold. So let's move west. Should I, should I keep doing that? Like navigating where we're going let's move west to la liga where we take a look at the 24 year old james rodriguez plays for real madrid obviously 24 years old has an 86 rated card i'm predicting he goes up to 87 so the year before last he had seven goals and 11 assists last season 13 goals 13 assists that is just an absolutely incredible all-around performance for a guy of his age and like i always stress like i said in the previous uh in the previous thing for eden hazard and berardi uh age is a factor that ea weighs in and 13 goals and 13 assists in one of the best leagues in the world Yes, it's not the most competitive top to bottom, but James Rodriguez definitely is deserving, in my opinion, of a plus one upgrade from 86 to 87. Now let's move east to the Bundesliga, where we meet up with Kevin De Bruyne. There's really nothing I can say about Kevin De Bruyne other than he deserves at least a plus two upgrade. Can we all agree on that? The season before, in 16 appearances, he had three goals and six assists. What did he have last season? 34 appearances, 10 goals, and fucking 20 assists. Are you kidding me? Just an absolute unreal player. Apparently, Mourinho and him didn't get along at Chelsea. Uh, De Bruyne wanted to be... He wanted he wanted to make sure that he was starting, and he didn't like the uncertainty of not. So I guess he went to Wolfsburg, and now he is a fucking god who is probably going to command somewhere along the lines of 60, 70 million for a transfer. But uh, yeah... Arguably one of the best young players in Europe, easily one of the best young players in Europe, deserves an upgrade for sure. He's currently an 83 overall, but if he doesn't have at least 85 next year in FIFA, I think we should all burn our discs. Let me know if you agree or disagree in the comment section below. And now the main event, Ronaldo versus Messi. So in FIFA 15, Messi got downgraded from a 94 to 93, which I guess you could justify because his production did tally off a little bit. So in the season before last, he had 29 appearances, 28 goals, and 11 assists. Incredibly, that's not enough from Messi. Like that, you need to surpass that in order to get an upgrade for Messi, and that's ridiculous. This past season, Oh, you know, 37 appearances, 48 goals, and 18 assists. You know, no big deal. Oh, and did he also get 25 freaking Man of the Match awards? Did he take Barcelona and fucking complete the treble? And did he take his national teams and get to pretty much every final that you can for your national team? Yeah, he did that. So if he doesn't go from at least a 93 to a 94, I think people are going to riot. So he definitely, in my opinion, there's no way he stays at 93. I think we can all agree. Now, moving on to Ronaldo, he's not shipped with a higher than 92 overall rating since, I believe, FIFA 12. So Ronaldo turned 30 this year. February 7th, he turned 30. And that is oftentimes, as you guys know, the killer when it comes to a rating. Like if a guy is 86 overall and had a pretty good season, he gets maybe the same rating or he gets bumped down to like 85. I think it's possible because he's turning 30 years old, it disregards any of the things that he did last year. And because he's 30 years old, you're going to say, you know what? Let's just keep him at 92. Obviously, we're not going to downgrade him, but he's not deserving enough of an upgrade because he just hit 30 years old. I don't think that makes sense. The year before last in 30 appearances, he had 31 goals, nine assists, and 10 man of the match awards. Last year, 35 appearances, 48 goals, 16 assists, and 17 man of the match awards. How do you, I don't care if you're 30 years old. How do you not award that? Like, how do you not give him an upgrade with those fucking numbers? 48 goals in a season? But anyway, boys, those are just my predictions. I know the Ronaldo Messi one is really, really uh, contentious, but I think this year it's probably one of the easiest ones to do because Messi has to get, he's going back to 94. Ronaldo's maybe staying at 92 because of the age factor. I don't know if I mentioned that Messi is just, he just turned 28. So he's still in his prime. So there's no reason that EA would even think I just don't know how they even think to keep him at the same rating. He has to get upgraded. And I think that you make a you, you make a strong point that Ronaldo needs to be upgraded to 93. But either way, I think this year is going to be another year where Messi's rated higher than Ronaldo. But anyway, boys, that is the video. If you guys did enjoy it, hit that like button. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. Let me know if you guys want to see me do maybe another one. I try to choose some players that like Domenico Berardi. He's not the most popular name in the Serie A. Um, Kevin De Bruyne, I could have gone with Meyer or Dust, you know, the goal scorers. And then in the, uh, who'd we do in the other leagues? I don't know. No, I think I, I think this was a pretty freaking good list. We covered some players that people really love in FIFA. Oh, Marco Royce. That would have been a tough one to do. But anyway, boys, I'll see you for another upload tomorrow. Till next time, tschüss, later, ade.